Hey, what's up guys? It's TechStreamer talking to you here. And today, let's compare the M1X chip against the M2 chip. I know you might be thinking, oh, but these are two different generations of chips. Why would you like to compare them? Well, because in my opinion, they will overlap. So Apple will release the M1X chip very closely to the new M2 chip, featuring the A15 chip cores. So, as we know, the M1X chip coming to the M1X Mac Pros 14 and 16 inch, the M1X Mac Mini, the M1X iMac, those will have A14 chip cores, I think. So, the M1 cores, the same ones as the M1 and the A14. So, these two chips will be very different in terms of performance and efficiency. But before I talk about that and even more, roll the intro. So, the M1X chip, as we know, should have come already. In my opinion, they should have released it on WWDC 2021, because then they could release the M2 on October and have a full cycle of one year and then update the X version of those chips on the summer. But, as we know, WWDC came and gone and there are no M1X new computers. So, People are speculating that the M1X chip is ready to ship on July, but in my opinion, it won't come until October, because I'm not seeing Apple making a new event on July, and I'm not seeing them releasing these new redesigns on, I don't know, a press release? Are you seeing that? No, in my opinion, I'm not seeing it, and I think it won't come in the press release. But the M2 chip was leaked and was thought to come out on October, making it full cycle, coming on a new M2 MacBook Air redesign also. John Prosser leaked that too, and in my opinion, it will always come to the lower end Mac Pro and the Mac Mini. But if those two chips come at the certain leaked time, so if the M1X comes at October and the M2 comes at October at the same event or even different events, which I believe it won't come in a different event, but if those come, there will be a lot of overlap because there will be people being confused about, oh, but wait, the M2 is, must be better than the M1X because it has newer cores, right? Well, the M2 would be more efficient than the M1X. Why? Because it will feature new high efficiency cores and more high efficiency cores. So with the same battery, better battery life when compared to the M1X. One thing you cannot forget is that M1X is going in a better hardware too. So bigger batteries and more importantly, better displays, better keyboards, better I.O., better everything. So the M1X will have a better GPU, will be more powerful. So you cannot compare them very closely because these two chips will be very and serve very different markets. The M2 serves the low-end market and the M1X serves the high-end market pro consumer. So the performance, of course, the M1X will beat the M2, even though the M2 features the new A15 cores. And the M1X will probably lose in terms of efficiency when you're comparing watts per hour of battery life because the M2 features newer and high efficiency cores. But you will probably also get more battery life on the M1X because there are a lot of talks that the M1X MacBook Pro 16 inch will feature 30 hour battery life, which is just crazy. While the M1, which features the A14 cores and it is on the MacBook Pro, only has 20 hours only with gasps. So, my opinion, the M2 will be even more efficient, maybe squeezing 24 hours of battery life, but it won't destroy or dethrone the M1X. So, that's why I believe that Apple will release the M1X on October and the M2 on a March event. So, they will probably like to update the MacBook Pro as soon as possible, but they will do it after they update the MacBook Pros and the Mac Minis and even the iMac because they want to get this M1X first than the M2 because a lot of people, they just look at the numbers. They won't know that the M1X is way, way powerful than the M2. So they see that the M2 is a bigger number and it's cheaper, so they will go for the M2, which will make Apple lose a lot of money. So as an incentive, they will likely name the M1X chip M1X and release it on October and then release the M2 on March. 
with two very different events. The first one very towards prosumers, the second one very towards normal consumers. So in my opinion, I believe that this M2 chip when released will come in the iMac, Mac Mini, MacBook Pro low end and the MacBook Air redesign. They won't redesign the iMac, they won't redesign the MacBook Pro and they won't redesign the Mac Mini to save on costs. So the M1 X will also feature eight high performance cores and two high efficiency cores, which would make the M1 X twice as fast as the M1, supposedly. I know why that doesn't work that way, but let's use this type of comparisons. Well, it has two high efficiency cores, while the M2 would feature nine cores, one more performance core, which would be five high performance cores and four high efficiency cores. As we know now, this extra high performance core would increase the performance a little bit better, and these cores will be also better, so the performance will be increased by probably 30%, which is a normal year by year update when looking at Apple Silicon. When looking at older Silicon 2, A14 to A15 or A13 to A14 is roughly 30% in terms of CPU and 35%, 40% term in terms of graphics, which is just insane. So my opinion, the M1X will also destroy the previous A. 12x, I think, which was the last X chip, but all the A12Z, but this chip is more closely to the M1, so cannot compare them. But the M1X will destroy every other chip on its competition. The M2 won't come closely, and probably the M2X would come on WWDC time, so on correct time. So Apple probably will want to correct this timeline or even release it again in October, but I'm not seeing how they would process that because they want to release the Mac Pro with probably the M1Z or the M2Z, I don't know which, which chip they want to put in which computer, but all I know is that they need to make this transition right. They have until next WWDC to finish it, and the M2 does not take part on this, I don't know, on this time, because they only said that they would change every computer with has Intel to Apple Silicon. But the M2 chip is an iteration of the M1, which is Apple Silicon also. So I believe that they will delay the M2 chip to when they need to delay it, because the M1X, although it's pretty powerful, will turn a lot of heads away from the M1X and the M2. So the M2 will also turn a lot of heads away from the M1X. So I don't think Apple wants that. And they want everyone who wants the more powerful than the M1 to go for the M1X. So the M1X will be more powerful, less efficient, and will have a way better GPU. So if your workflow settles on graphic performance, video editing, or even photo editing, or even 3D modeling, or all this type of stuff, go for the M1X, it's more powerful, has a better GPU, has a better core setup and will be even more powerful with the CPU if you are a coder too. But if you just browse the web, you just like to go to websites, you just want a portable machine and want a good, amazing battery life, go for the M2, wait a bit more, or even now, uh, my advice is go for the M1. The M1 is just insane still and it's just very good. It won't be disappointed if you get an M1 for what you need. And I believe that Apple will continue selling the M1 if they could. So what do you think? Do you think the M1X would beat the M2? Or do you think that the M2 will come at the same time as the M1X? Because Apple just don't care about cannibalizing other products. What's your opinion? Leave a comment down below. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe. This was TechSumer talking to you here. Bye.